AP Receiver Sensitivity Test is designed to test the quality of the AP's receiver in being able to handle the many different types of stations and very many different types of scenarios that are seen in the real world. In the real world, access points are expected to service stations of many different types that use many different types of modulation rates all the way from CCK to OFDM to uh, 64 and 256 QAM modulation rates that are uh, used by many different types of stations, 11B, G, N, and AC. And the access points are also expected to handle stations at different distances from the AP. So the AP's receiver is expected to handle different combinations of transit power and transit modulation rate settings. The Candela receiver sensitivity test is designed to test the AP's receiver for all possible combinations of transit power and transit modulation rate and measure the quality of the receiver in a fully automated test. To run this test, we select the receiver sensitivity uh, test option from the test list. If you have not watched the video on how to create the scenario and how to configure the access point test bed, create the chambers and the cabling and the connections and the programmable attenuation between the tester and the device under test, please watch that video first before watching this video. So to run this test, we're going to click on this run test button and that's going to show the various options for this particular test. The, the tester can go through all channels, more preamble types, uh, MCS rates, spatial streams, channel bandwidths, uh, short guard interval, long guard interval, different transit powers on the station, and uh, the one of the most important settings here is the different attenuation values. So in this particular case, uh, as just as a demonstration, I'm going to select a VHT, and I'm and I'm going to go through uh, modulation rates zero to seven in my test and I'm running this test with three spatial streams and 80 megahertz channel bandwidth with short guard interval on. So now I'm going to start uh, this test. Uh, before we start the test, we need to select the device under test, which is the Netgear AP, and set the trial duration. Uh, I'm setting the trial duration to five seconds to run this test fast. We also need to select the Wi-Fi station that is going to be used and the upstream port for this particular test. The user can also enter the calculated path loss between the LandForge station and the receiver on the access point. Since this is a completely cable setup, um, I've approximately calculated the cable loss, insertion loss to be about uh, 20 dB. The rate setting allows the user to set the transmit uh, rate as a percentage of the transmit phi rate. Based on the modulation settings and the, the, the spatial streams and the channel bandwidth, the test would automatically calculate what is the theoretical maximum phi rate for that combination and the user can run uh, the test at a percentage of that particular rate. So I'm, right now I'm running it at 100% of that particular rate. For the attenuation, uh, we can select the port, the attenuator that we want to use for this particular test. In this case, it's 1.1.7.71, which is the attenuator that I'm using. And I can also set the attenuation uh, settings, the range, uh, to, from a minimum attenuation level to the maximum attenuation level. So I'm going to pick 200, which represents 20 dB, and go up to uh, 900, which represents 90 dB at 3 dB steps. So I'm running this test from 20 dB of attenuation to 90 dB of attenuation at 3 dB steps. So I'm now going to start this test. And when I start the test, it's going to pop up uh, a real-time report that is going to uh, basically show me the measurements of throughput for all combinations of MCS rates and transmit power values that I set in this test. Initially the station is going to be connected to the AP and then the traffic streams is going to start and it's going to run five second trials for each test run and you can already see that it's starting to plot the uh, throughput value uh, for each one of these combinations starting from three spatial streams 80 megahertz channel bandwidth. The test will also show uh, throughput over uh, calculated signal, throughput over RSSI, the real-time throughput measurement over time, and also the percentage of uh, TX packet completion. And the report has other results as well. It also shows the all the combinations of the trials in a tabular format 
it goes through all combinations of MCS and channel bandwidth settings that are part of this test and goes through all the uh, attenuation values and shows um, how many packets, what percentage of the packets were lost, what is the TX fi rate, RX uh, uh, receive uh, throughput and so on. All these measurements are automatically made. Receiver sensitivity curves have been plotted on the throughput chart. So as we can see, uh, the test ran for all uh, transfer power values at different MCS rates from MCS7 all the way up to MCS0. At the highest modulation rate, we can see that the throughput is the highest, uh, about 800 megabits per second for this access point. But as we decrease the, the signal strength at the receiver by applying the programmable attenuation, we can see that the signal to noise ratio drops and uh, the highest modulation rate which needs the higher signal to noise ratio the throughput drops faster uh, all the way up to zero the next lower modulation rate the throughput is lower to start with but it requires a slightly lesser signal to noise ratio and so the throughput drops a little uh, af uh, after a little while and then as we go down uh, to the lower and lower modulation rates the signal to noise ratio required is lesser but then the throughput is also lesser and see so we can see the throughput drop uh, go all the way up to minus 90 uh, dBm of signal uh, received signal strength before which the throughput goes down to zero. So this is our standard uh, receiver sensitivity curves and looks like the AP is doing doing really well, is doing exactly what's expected. The one thing to note here though is we can see that MCS6 which is the blue line here uh, which is supposed to be right after MCS7 on these plots here uh, seems to be having zero throughput all across. This is a very interesting scenario and uh, this is exactly what this test is designed for is to find these kinds of scenarios. What this test indicates is for some reason when the station is transferring at MCS6 at all receive power values the throughput is actually zero. Uh, so it needs further debugging to figure out why this is happening uh, and we need to run more advanced tests but uh, the idea of this test is exactly to find these kinds of uh, problems. Now at the end of the test, uh, the user can also save the PDF report and then it launches a PDF report with all the details uh, and, uh, and, and the details about the device in the test, the software version, hardware version, all the things that the user has input uh, in, the, in the test, uh, objective, what, what is the goal of this test and also all the charts that we saw uh, in, the, in the report. Uh, the, the users will scroll down and look at all these details and also there will be a, a tabular data of all the individual test trials and the results. The PDF reports are easy to share with, uh, with uh, the customer's ecosystem, their vendors and their partners to, to show the kinds of problems that we just identified. The user should also be able to save HTML reports and CSV files and all this data is available uh, in various forms for the for, for the test for the test system. <laughs>